Hi, I'm Lillian from Cinema 5D and today we're going to talk about how to monitor audio on those new breed of mirrorless cameras that doesn't come with a headphone jack, such as the Sony a6500 or the Fujifilm X-T20. This episode is brought to you by Tilta, a manufacturer providing you with industry-leading equipment and an entire professional solution for your filmmaking needs. Consider your audio to be as important as your video, or sometimes even more important. It's a common mistake to neglect audio when shooting video, but the quality of your sound is actually what can make or break the result of your shoot. Uh, it's gone. It doesn't matter if your footage looks like a million dollar production. If the sound is bad, it's going to destroy the whole experience of your creation. Oh no. If you're an independent filmmaker, you'll often find yourself in one-man band situations where you have to record sound and video at the same time. So why, on top of all things, should you bother with monitoring the sound? Johnny? The way we hear sound is completely different than the way that the microphone will capture it. For the sake of argument, in this episode, we are not monitoring the sound. The idea is that what I hear here is quite okay, but at home, you might hear the footsteps and the wind in a very enhanced way. Okay, so some of the new cameras don't have the headphone jack, but they still offer microphone input and manual audio adjustment control. So you can still see the audio levels working. So do we need more than that? It's certainly not enough. Monitoring the level is good, but all you can verify is that the audio is being recorded in camera. The levels won't necessarily show you an interference. It's like shooting video without the screen. So if this is so important, how come camera manufacturers are neglecting that feature? The painful, simple truth is that the manufacturers want to sell us more expensive and more advanced cameras. As one big boss told me, if we would put this feature in the modestly priced camera, it would become the other camera. What other camera? The more expensive one. There is a solution to this. This is a device from the company Ceramonic called the Smart Rig Plus. It costs $100 and can not only save your headphone jack problem, but also makes you able to record better sound. And Johnny, you've tested this out. Yes, indeed. And those are the advantages. You get two XLR microphone inputs, so you can use professional microphones if needed. You get a separate gain control knobs for each channel. You can use it with a smartphone or DSLR mirrorless camera. It provides a standard phantom power, so your microphone can be powered by the internal 9 volt battery. The preamp in this device is definitely better than the one that can be found inside most cameras. You can also connect your guitar, but personally, I couldn't care about it. And of course, you can connect headphones to monitor the sound with it. But there are also downsides. Lillian? Yes, you can't adjust the headphone volume. So at times, you might find this a bit hard to work with. There is also no battery level indicator, so always keep a spare one with you. And remember, you're still not monitoring the sound from the camera itself. But this solution is still miles ahead better than just watching the audio level meters on your camera. True. Conclusion. Monitoring your audio is a fundamental thing. Don't leave it to faith. The Sarmoning Smart Fit Plus is a reasonable working solution. The audio quality is fine, although if you activate the phantom power, double check that there is no extra background hiss. Thanks for watching and until next episode, bye! Cinema 5D Essentials is made possible by our sponsor Tilta. They make high quality camera accessories at affordable prices. This is their new Tilta Gravity G1 handheld gimbal, which is ideal for stabilization of small cameras. You can control it via app and the built-in DC in and out allows you to power multiple accessories. Check out all their gear at tilta.com.